You know, something you really notice at the farmer's market, more families are really looking for the foods that are fresh and local. Mm, and then beyond that, foods that are sustainable and environmentally responsible, but they've also got to be healthy and delicious or we're not going to eat it, especially kids. So how can you combine it all on a weeknight, no, no less? Kidding, to make it fast. That's yes. right. For that, we welcome in chef and best-selling cookbook author Jennifer Bushman. Nice to have Thank you. you. Thank you for yeah. having me. Good morning. It feels, like, it feels like a big task, doesn't it? We yes. just made a whole list of things, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. actually sustainability is really easy. There mm -hmm. are fantastic groups and retailers like Hy-Vee that are doing all kinds of things to make sustainability more Great. accessible. Well, that's where we're shopping, so right. maybe you can give us some tips I, on what I to look Hy -Vee, for. When you go to the grocery store, how do you do that? Yeah. How do you do so that? there are a couple things. We're talking about fish today. Now, the thing about fish and seafood is that this, the fish case all looks the same. Mm -hmm. You know, it's this big C, and all it says is, this is salmon, yeah. mm -hmm. and this is where it's from. So I want to show you something. This is an app oh, by app. Monterey Bay Aquarium yeah. Seafood Watch. And what it is, is that it love this with the kids. You type in what type of fish you're looking at and the country of origin, and it'll come up red light, green light, or yellow light. So green light, go. Right. We're farming it or we're catching it sustainably. Mm -hmm. Red light, you never, ever want to buy it because it's not sustainable for the oceans. Wow, right. that's brilliant. So yeah. just search Seafood Watch in the App Store? In the App Store, and it'll pop right up. Perfect. It's free. It's from Monterey Bay Aquarium. Mm -hmm. What's great right. about this is that it really does give you some traceability not only is it giving you all of these ideas mm -hmm. but also it's telling you you know this is where we are in the place in the ocean the ocean is stressed in some areas by as much as 90 percent so and it has an amazing ability to replenish itself mm -hmm. and it's a great way to engage the kids mm -hmm. which is part of what we need to do here to get them to eat different types of food well talking about sense. salmon and talking yeah. about farm salmon because farm salmon is a little bit different than is there higher fat Content right, actually, well, what's the difference? Interestingly enough, this is Verlasso salmon. It's the only ocean raised salmon to ever be part of the Seafood Watch program. So, you, in the scale of all the different types of farm salmon, mm -hmm. you really have to be careful about what you buy. Verlasso has nearly the same fat content as farm, as uh, wild, okay. excuse me, and it has the same omega 3s. Great. So, it also, the benefits. yeah, comes with a oh. gill tag. You'll see this. This is super fun for the kids, gotcha. too. So, it's got and a, it has QR a QR code. QR code on and there. it and it tells you the farmer and the farm where it's from. Okay. I love, so, I love so this you, idea. And, and in the case of Hyvie, they actually keep the gill tag on there, so the kids you can get it, hand it to them, and say, "Look, meet the farmer." Find out where Another it came way from. to engage yeah. them. Can we cook? Yes, I want we a can. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. part of it is, you know, kids will eat 90% of the foods they participate in making, mm -hmm. and so we want to give them something that's mild. Verlasso's raised off the coast of the Patagonia, and because of how it's raised, it's it's not just sustainable, but to your point, it's not fishy smelly. Yes. It has those omega 3s, but it doesn't give you all of that crazy fishiness as you're cooking it. How are you seasoning yeah. this? So I'm going to season it with a little salt and pepper and a little bit of chili powder. Children actually have 30,000 taste buds. And they're Compared very to adults, which only have about ten. Oh, so sure. if you they think have of things that three are three times as many taste yes. buds. So if you think of things that are super strong in flavor, they're not going to like them because they're super hypersensitive tasters. Yeah. Right, and so, so since that doesn't have the fishy smell, even for adults who don't right? like that fishy smell, it's and wonderful. And you know how we can bring out the sugars is we can actually add acid. So if we want to bring sugar out in foods and make them taste sweeter without mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. adding sugar mm -hmm. for the kids. You can add a little lime juice or lemon juice, and that'll actually bring out the flavor. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that's a really great tip is you got to let it brown. Do you see how we get that gorgeous caramelization? It's nicely browned, and that also will make it sweeter. Mm -hmm. So we have this thing about if kids won't eat the vegetables raw, they may eat them steamed. Mm -hmm. If they right. won't eat them steamed, they may be willing to eat them roasted because that caramelization mm -hmm. lowers the bitterness level and raises the sweetness. And as we're focusing on a weeknight meal here, salmon takes such little time to cook. That's right. <laughs> You're able to throw it in the skillet Very and get on. Very little time. And, and we've also got a, some sauces to serve with it. Yeah, so do. do me a favor. Put some of the cumin and the chili powder in that little bit of cream. It's a mm -hmm. just a sour cream or a creme fraiche. Mm -hmm. And then add some lime juice to it. And then you have some other sauces do, on the side over there. Because the kids love to dip. Mm -hmm. And this is just done as a skewer. There's a little ranch dressing. Yeah. I've got a little um, a little bit of peanut dressing. Uh -huh. And then I've also got some tomato sauce. Because if kids won't eat vegetables, yeah. if they eat a quarter cup of tomato sauce, they mm -hmm. get a full serving of vegetables. Well, that's a nice way to personalize, too. If you have you know two or three kids at the table and they don't have the exact 
same taste. taste. Yeah, then you give them a chance to customize, and that's smart. Exactly. How's this salmon coming? It's coming along. We've got it nice, starting to get nice and brown. Mm -hmm. And look Love how I've it. done it in these little cubes, uh -huh. because it takes it takes kids about 12 times of tasting something, the same food, to like it if it's new. So I put it in these little cubes because I thought, you know what? If we do these little cubes and then they can just try a little bite, mm -hmm. they're usually more willing to do it than if it's some big piece. You put them on skewers with mm -hmm. tomatoes. Will I the kids did. eat the tomatoes? Did tomatoes? Did you Roasted, they, they will. Yeah. I think it's a little bit warmer in flavor, but you can add things they like. You could do some roasted carrot if you wanted mm -hmm. to. We've also got some veggie chips. So the veggie chips. The kids love these. They yeah. And then you cheese. They love a little cheese, cheese and apples. Mm -hmm. And some apples. That's you a know, great meal. Just to make it kind of fun. And then you could also, right next to you are some little ice packs. And mm -hmm. if you freeze those ice packs, like the football or even yeah. those, you can actually throw those in the lunch bag. Right. And then those, this little idea could actually go for lunch as well. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, what about your cookbook? What's the name of it? So the Kitchen Coach series is a book cookbook series that's weeknight, weekend, and family meals. So all of these ideas are in there. And of course, the Verlasso salmon. Look for that um, at Hy-Vee. They're just bringing it into store. We're really excited about it. We're going to do a whole series of demos this weekend. So Hy-Vee's just getting that in right now. It's in now, and we've got. We're going to be tasting it all weekend long. So if we're shopping, we might run into you. You're going to points across the city this Most weekend. Most definitely. Or if you happen to be at Disney World, I'm going to be at the what? Disney Epcot <laughs> Food and Wine Festival. Well, I'm not well, planning on it. Two months. Better plan a trip, right? Make, yeah. make a for two months. Yeah, if anybody's, it's wow. a 52-day festival, and I'm going to be teaching and doing dinners and all kinds of fun stuff. If people are going down there, where is that, well, where will they find you? They'll the, find I mean, me in the... Mike's um, making plans. Well, yeah, i got to get this figured out, right? It's at Epcot. Epcot. In Epcot. Make reservations there, too. Online, they'll tell you all about the festival. It's going to be fun. For this recipe, We've also posted it on our yeah. website at omahamorningblend.com. So if you want to check it out, feel free to visit our site. Definitely. And how do you want to finish up? Well, I'd say, you know, really the most important thing is to start to think about eating more mm -hmm. sustainably and really getting educated about the ocean and ocean health. So look for that Monterey Bay Aquarium mm -hmm. Seafood Watch app and just get engaged. It's fun. Kids, kids, kids will love they'll it. They'll love the salmon. It's not very strong at I all. I told you, it's yeah. very yeah. mild, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. Very mild. When it's high quality, that's that's get. right. That's when it, it is goes. high quality and, and certainly the way they're raising it and where with all of that thoughtfulness and care, mm -hmm. that's going to make a difference in not just dinner tonight mm -hmm. and salmon tonight, but for dinner in seven generations. Thank we need you. to do a whole show with you. Next yeah, time you're in town, right? let's do I'd a whole show. That. He Done. just wants to eat for an hour. It's fine with me. <laughs> I've got enough food. We can what do it now. I see that. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.